Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. I've just got used to saying that. So, this is a quick video. So these are my seven favourite products, RC products, over the last six months that I've reviewed. Um, I, all these are on here because they, in the beach way, I think they're really outstanding, either for value for money, quality, or both. So, I'll start with this. So this is the SJRC F11. I've obviously done a couple of videos on this. The reason this is on here, it's nothing to do with the camera, because the camera's average at best. It's the way this thing flies. It flies amazingly well. I did a video, you'll have seen if you've checked on my channel, I did a video flying with a, a camera on the front of here. I think it was a run cam, yeah, run cam 3S. And you can see what you can get out of it. And if it only had a fantastic camera, how well it'd look. But for my mind, this is the best sort of, is it a toy grade? Yes, toy to intermediate grade drone you can buy on the market at the minute. It's got SD card support, it's got long flight time and it's handling is absolutely superb. So this is definitely one of my favourites and one of the few of these type of drones that I'll, I'd actually keep. Uh, moving on we've got the Phoebe A3 and I don't think it's a bit surprised that this is on here. So this is on here because I think it's outstandingly value for money. It's not a spark killer as some people have claimed, but it was never meant to be. It's a budget entry level camera drone. It's a very good budget entry level camera drone. The video footage of it is good. You have to fly it smoothly. It's quick when you don't. When you just want to dart around with it. The controller is fantastic. The only thing that's let this down is they should not have bothered doing the screen because the screen is almost unusable, unusable on it, the 5.8 gig. It's a fantastic idea. I just wish they hadn't have bothered. I wish they'd have made this controller the exactly the same one that came out for the X8 SE that you put your phone into and they probably could have saved cost as well doing that but fantastic drone you can pick this up really cheap I think it's going for a little of £199 so definitely one to pick up the Hudson Dino if I'd have done this review if I'd have done this six months ago this would have never made it in here so when I first got this this was bug ridden it had loads of issues with it they're now on firmware, I think it's 1.51 or something like that, the latest firmware. I think since it went to 48, I think the thing's been really stable to fly, much better than it was. It doesn't drop as much altitude. It's still got tendencies to move around in the air, but there's no optical flow on this. There's nothing. It's just GPS that's holding it in the air in the position it's in. So the reason this is mainly on here is because this has dropped in price significantly. If you buy it from the Chinese stores, you can get this cheap. It's still 359 or 69 or whatever it is on Hudson site. But if you shop around, you can buy this 30 for under 300 quid. And if you buy it from the Chinese sites, as we sit today, you can buy this for 269. I think it is with an extra battery in the case still. It did fall as low as 199 pounds. But keep your eye open for offers because you do often see this on offer. They've also now do it in black I've seen. Um, I think I'll add prefer it in white but they also do it in black and the only thing this is let down by now is its controller which is not the best thing in the world with the resolution of sticks but apart from that well worth the money and another perfectly good entry level 4k camera drone. This is the XK8800 I did a review of this a bit ago where I bound it up to my jumper T12 I didn't fly it with the controller that came with it. The reason this is on here because I don't think you can get much easier and better value playing on the market. This thing flies itself virtually. It's so easy, perfect entry level playing with all four channels. It has a rudder, it has an elevator and it obviously has airlines and a throttle. So and it really does glide nicely as well. You can get long flight times out of this. Uh, I can't say enough good things about this. This is definitely one of my favourite planes that, that I've reviewed. You've got a lot of planes coming up on the channel that you won't have seen yet, that I have reviewed, but you won't have seen the videos yet. But this is the best. It's a good size, so it's you can see it in the air, it's quite visible. A lot of these kind of smaller ones that have stabilisation tend to be 600mm. Because this is 800mm, it's really nice to fly and very, very stable. So, highly rated by me. Again, they've got a video up on the channel of this. The Yashin trash cam. So this thing blew me away. I'd seen reviews of it before and everybody said how good it was. But because it was Yashin, I, I was in a, a two minds 
uh, kind of thing whether to buy it because it's another um, brushless warp and in the marketplace these 2S ones that have come out there's quite a lot of competition but this thing flies amazingly well it goes fast when you want it to but you can also fly this thing steady people have said it's the best starter drone you can uh, best starter FPV I don't think that's right I think you can get I think if I was going and I was a starter I'd probably get this this is the Emax Tiny Hawk. I'd probably get one of these if I was a starter. Oh, I've just noticed my camera's loose in there again. But I'd probably go for this over this. But certainly if you've been flying a little bit and it's not your first FPV, this is the thing to do. I've converted mine now so it runs on 2S, so I just have one battery. Why I don't have to bother with two batteries. And these little nanotechs here, these fit in absolutely perfectly. If you can see, as you can see, they're fitting superb. These are only 3570Cs, but they seem adequate for what I want it for and the flight time didn't seem too bad. So this is an amazing piece of kit. Okay, so this one's obviously a lot more money than everything else on the table. This is the Mavic 2 Zoom. I have did a video on this recently. I haven't had that many flights with it yet, but every flight I have I get a little bit more blown away by how nicely this thing flies. It's unbelievably stable I haven't flown anything this smooth before I think this is the smoothest thing I've ever flown and I've flown a lot of drones it's quite quiet because of these props the camera quality to me is amazing and the zoom feature I'll never get bored of people say it's a gimmick not really because you don't need to get close to someone to get some detailed images if you see I did a video comparing this with the Altel Evo and you'll see a video uh, when I've done the zoom on this on a place called Castle Hill. You'll see me zoom in on that, and the quality is absolutely amazing on the zoom. So, this to me is a massive win. I always said I'd probably get one of these, but I wouldn't get one. I wouldn't upgrade when they first came out because of bugs and other things. And plus, the fact I didn't think it'd be as good as it is, but yeah, superb. I can't highly, I can't rate this any higher than I do. And then we've got the Jumper T16. So, I've ever seen on the table, this is my favourite RC product I bought. And it was 129 quid. And the reason that is because I had the T12, but it, it still felt, people won't like what I'm about to say, but it, to me it felt toy grade and it very much did because of its size, its form factor, the stick still felt a bit toy grade. And the way it's, you set it up and the way you had to go along these little clicky buttons on here. This thing is amazing. I know people have had issues with it. I have had absolutely none. I'll have a video up in the next month or so, an update video. I've now got 14 models, I think, on this, including the plane on here, the Eachin trash can, and virtually, if you look at the stuff behind, I think every one of them is, not every one of them, but half of them, this side, is all bound to it. So I can get as much testing time as I can. I think the screen's fantastic, the weight's great. It just feels nice in my hand. Before I started uh, doing the drones and reviewing and stuff, I always had Pataba gear. Uh, and I'm not saying Pataba is the best. It is very good. They do not what they do, but they're expensive. This isn't Pataba by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not saying it's a Pataba standard, but the form factor is, and the weight, and everything else about this feels nice in my hand. So I highly recommend this thing. I think it's an absolute bargain at 129 quid. I know there's been loads of hassle recently about stores being told they can't stock it. How true that is, I don't know. Um, if it is true, it's very sad of FR Sky, to be honest. Uh, I've got a lot of FR Sky products. Um, to me, it beats them all, to be honest with you. I haven't got the X10 Horus. I did fancy one, but now I wouldn't get one because of this. Uh, and obviously if it is true what they've said I certainly wouldn't want to buy one on principle of that kind of tactics we should be in a marketplace where you're allowed to bring out what you want they're gonna people are gonna say that this thing's a copy it just uses their soft it uses the software that FR Sky uses but it's open CX anybody can use it and people said you wouldn't be able to get updates there's already been updates on uh, Jumper's website watch my previous video to show you how to do that so highly highly recommended so these are my favorites obviously of the last six months so I haven't done a worst of but it would definitely be the ASM uh, is it CGO 33 absolute piece of garbage 
I can't believe how bad that thing is. But there's also some honourable, men honourable mentions on there. Bayang Toys X28, nearly as bad. Another piece of garbage. And various other drones that I've done. You've probably seen a video that I've done where I rip things apart and say they're not very good and stuff. And it's just, it, it boggles the mind that these people can bring out these drones and charge over £100 for them. Because both them two I've mentioned are over 100 quid, or they were at the time of purchase. And bring out something that bad. What I could, if I can advise you on anything is watch as many videos as you can before you buy something. When I bought the X28 there was no videos out. I was one of the first people to review it. I bought the ASM annoying it was bad, believe it or not, but I wanted to have a go with it anyway and see what it was like. And I didn't lose any money on it in the end so that's fine. But the Bayang Toys, it came out, I bought it and it was total disappointment. Absolute massive disappointment. So you're going to get that. When I bought the F11 I was very similar then. I think I was one of the first people to review this as well. There wasn't many reviews up there and you look out sometimes and that was fantastic. But if you're not reviewing and you're buying to keep like most of you watching this video probably are, watch as many videos as you can. There's a lot of people out there that are really really good and stick with those. Stick with the people you know are good and you know that are going to give you an honest review. Because un unfortunately Sometimes you can get reviewers that review things because they've been sent them and they don't want to say something's bad. There's a lot of people that don't do that, so there's a lot of people you can be safe watching. JD Quad, massive. He's a, I'm a massive fan of his. He's a fantastic guy. His videos are great. Watch his videos. He does not lie. He tells you the truth every time. Another person that I watch all the time is J Drone. He watch, he'll absolutely tell you something's terrible. But there's loads more people, but watch as many videos as you can before you make a purchase. Especially if you're purchasing something 300 quid. If you're a 30 pound drone, you're probably not taking that big a gamble. And it's very easy to find videos of the Mavic 2, because everybody's done them. And even uh, the Femi A3, there's hundreds about. But that's what I advise you to do. So these are my favourites over the last six months. I'll do another one towards the end of the year for these six months from ju ju June to December. Obviously they will be a bit different because I'm not going to have as many toy drones, if any, in that section. I still class this as a toy drone, probably I shouldn't, but it, to me it's a toy drone, but it's a fantastically good one. So stay tuned for loads more stuff coming up. I've got a load of FPV stuff coming up. If you haven't already seen the video for this, which you might not have done, so I don't think I'll have posted it by this time, this is another one of these quads that I'm probably not going to give the best review to. So this is the X140 HV Eusheen. Um, beautiful little thing and flies superbly provided you put the right battery in it. That's as much as I'm going to say. But I've got reviews and stuff like that coming up. And as I said, loads more RC planes. And probably maybe towards the end of this year I might have some Kelly copters again but they will be smaller ones and I'm not getting back into what I used to be into which is all the big stuff so the load more stuff coming thanks ever so much for your support as usual have a fantastic day thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up